What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Sundial Growers ticker symbol SNDL and how all of this different news coming out about this company, a new shelf registration that they're going to be filing, and some other very key points that they have put out strongly suggest to me that they are going to be performing some massive acquisitions in the near future. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Weeble, which is the brokerage that you guys see on screen in all of my videos these two free stocks are valued up to one thousand eight hundred fifty dollars and all you have to do to earn these two free stocks is check out that link in my description open an account deposit over a hundred dollars and you get those two free stocks now i also get a free stock when you complete your deposit so this is a great way for you guys to help out and support the channel if you guys would like to and if you guys enjoy the information and analysis that i provide for you in this video make sure you go down and hit that like button it costs you nothing to do it but it helps me out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people as possible and if you want to see more information and videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell that notification bell is super important so that you guys are never late on any of these new videos that I post so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So looking at the chart of Sundial Growers, this stock has been on a downtrend over the past week. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. The stock reported their earnings and the market took it positively uh, to begin with, but um, overall, the market conditions have not been conducive to companies like Sundial Growers, these hyper growth type companies. So we have seen a pretty significant sell off from the overall highs. But Sundial is making some pretty significant strides and we could see them perform some major acquisitions in the near future. Now, I've been talking about Sundial Growers acquisition and investments uh, over the past couple of weeks, and we are finally getting some more indications that this is going to happen. So first, we need to look at how much cash that SNDL has on their balance sheet. So looking at their fourth quarter and full year earnings, they said that they completed financial restructuring and eliminated $227 million aggregate principal amount of debt during 2020. That is a very good sign. They are now debt free. They had 60.4 million in unrestricted cash on hand at December 31st, 2020, but 719 million unrestricted cash on hand as of March 15th, 2021. So that is big money. They could use that money for a whole variety of different reasons. And Sundial Grower's business model doesn't really require a lot of cash expenditures. So we could be seeing them use this cash in a very uh, interesting way in the near future. Now, Sundial is going to basically double this amount of unrestricted cash on hand over the next couple of years, but we're going to take a look at that a little bit later in this video when we go over exactly why I think Sundial Growers is gearing up for a major acquisition. So let's take a look at the two hints that we have so far. So this one is going to be Sundial and Indiva announce a $22 million strategic investment. Now, this was on February 16th, 2021. So we can see that the investment will be completed in the Form of a brokered private placement led by ATB Capital. And essentially what is going to happen is that uh, Sundial Growers is going to be putting that $22 million into Indiva. So Sundial is pleased to support the development of Indiva's high quality products. The transaction broadens our exposure to the rapidly expanding cannabis edibles category. So Sundial Growers is basically initiating and engaging in a business model of, well, if we can't do it ourselves, we have enough money to invest in a company who can and benefit off of their gain. So there has been an extreme amount of mergers and acquisition activity in the cannabis market over the last year, and a lot of research studies are suggesting that these mergers and acquisitions are nowhere near from over. Coming over here, we can see that merger and acquisition activity in the cannabis industry could reach $2 billion this year. So 2019 was not an especially good year for M&A activity in the cannabis market. However, 2020 went out with a bang with more than $600 million in deals announced immediately following the November election. So that's very important. Because in the United States, we have now the Democrats in uh, in power, and, and they are more favorable towards these cannabis types of legislations. So all of these different cannabis companies were trying to team up 
and become as big as they possibly could so that when we do get some of this cannabis legislation, that they are able to take full advantage of it. Now, this isn't this Indiva deal was not the only time that Sundial Growers has engaged in behavior such as this. So coming over here, Sundial Growers jumped on an announcement of a new joint venture. So cannabis company Sundial Growers jumped more than 14% on this Monday that it was announced, announced it formed a 50-50 joint venture with SAF Opportunities LP that will be called Sunstream Bancorp. So Sunstream will look for opportunities and investments in the cannabis sector with the formation of a special opportunities fund that will combine a third party money with an initial commitment of sun uh, of a hundred million dollars from sundial the joint venture expects to pursue a canadian spac merger along with other investments now spac mergers have been extremely uh profitable for the uh spac uh the the, the spac heads over the past couple of months. Now, if Sundial Growers can actually use this Sunstream SPAC to pick a really good company to take public, they could make so much money in the short term. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a longer term play because SPACs typically have two years that they can announce and fully merge. So we could see a lot more pieces of news coming out about this over the next couple of years. But Sunstream will enable Sundial to remain focused on our core operations while leveraging the strength of SAF's private equity and credit investment expertise on a global scale. So we have two strong pieces of news that suggest Sundial is very open to acquisitions and investments. And we, have, we are seeing that the actual mergers and acquisitions could reach $2 billion this year. But Sundial Growers has been taking an absolute beating over the past week. So the reason for this is that yesterday they announced a new offering. This is essentially going to be a shelf offering. If you guys don't know what a shelf offering is, essentially what a company can do is they can register a certain amount of shares with the SEC to be offered, and they can uh, dish those shares out onto the open market from time to time. So we can see right here, they use this language. And if you look through this SEC filing, they do. Uh, classified this offering as a shelf registration. So what this allows them to do is they don't have to file every single time with the SEC that they want to offer shares. They can uh, basically get this done in one fell swoop have a certain amount of shares that they can offer and issue them from time to time without having to go through all of these administrative and compliance processes. So we can see that the total proceeds uh, from this shelf offering could be upwards of $800 million, which would put Sundial Growers cash on their balance sheet at about $1.5 billion. Now that's almost as much as Nano Dimension has on their balance sheet right now. And NNDM has come out and said that they want to acquire one to three companies in the short term. So this would be very big for Sundial Growers going forward if they can actually execute on these types of plans. Now, this $800 million uh, proceed mark was basically calculated at the sales price of $1.54 per common share, which was the closing price on these shares, basically what Sundial Growers closed at on this day, which was March 17th, 2021. So this is going to differ a little bit, but if Sundial Growers can acquire a couple of different companies and show a lot of progress, I think this could be very bullish for Sundial Growers going forward. Now, we intend to use the net proceeds, if any, from this offering for the financing of possible acquisitions of or investments in equipment, facilities, equity or debt of other businesses, products or technologies, and for our working capital and general corporate purposes. Now, the reason why the overall market does not like these types of offerings is because they're dilutive. So essentially what that means is when a company offers more shares, it's increasing the total float, which is the amount of shares that are out in the market. So say you owned uh, 10 shares of a company and the overall float was 100 shares. If they increase this to 110 or 120 shares, your equity percentage position decreases, which is why it's called dilutive offering. So these are pretty bearish in the short term. But overall, I think this is a very good sign for Sundial Growers going forward.
Now, although Sundial Growers is a Canadian cannabis company, in the United States, we are making strides towards legalization and federal decriminalization across the board. And some key states are actually moving forward with some legislation, which uh, even though Sundial Growers is a Canadian company, I do think that this could benefit the share price because they are in the cannabis industry. And if all of the other cannabis stocks start moving to the upside, we could see Sundial Growers get a bump from this as well. So coming over here, we can see that more than a dozen marijuana bills were filed in Tennessee. We can see that Virginia joins 15 other states in legalizing marijuana. And we can see that Chuck Schumer says federal marijuana legalization is a priority in Democrats' big, bold America. So this is big news for the overall industry. And I think that we could see over the next couple of years, some really good strides towards uh, decriminalization or even legalization in a few key states. Now, the key is going to be before the end of 20. 2022. So that is going to be when the midterm elections are happening. And if the Republicans in the United States are able to take control of one of the key bodies of legislation, so uh, the House or the Senate, we could see uh, all of this marijuana legislation get put out right away. So this needs to move uh, pretty quick if we want these marijuana companies to really go up in value. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because classically and typically Republicans are not a strong proponent of marijuana legalization or legislature. But we have seen in some key states that Republicans are actually at the forefront of trying to get legislation and bills like this passed. So we really don't know. We are just going to have to wait and see what our government gives us. And that is going to be the determining factor of where these cannabis companies are going to move in the short term. So that is going to be it for this update on Sundial Growers. If you guys enjoyed the information that I provided for you in this video, Make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it helps me out a whole lot in getting out this information to as many people as possible. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I'm trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. And don't forget, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Webull, which is the brokerage that you guys see on screen in all of my videos, all you have to do is che uh, check out that link in my description, sign up for an account, deposit over $100, and you get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. This is basically free money, and you guys should definitely check it out if you are interested. So I hope you guys were able to mitigate some of your losses today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.